are here with Colin Ray today. Colin stopped by to talk to us about co-hosting the Country Music Inspirational Awards coming up this Thursday, a couple days. Thursday uh, night yeah. it will be the um, uh, 22nd annual ICMAs, and I've actually had the pleasure of, of hosting the show uh, once before, uh, and uh, it's 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 a wonderful organization that, that promotes uh, country or Christian inspirational Christian country artists that that don't get a lot of attention otherwise. Mm -hmm. And so it, I really like what what they're all about and what they what they're trying to present because uh, the mainstream is never going to embrace that. Mm -hmm. You know, right, uh, right? And so I think it's a, it's an important show, and the fact that they, that they have lasted now 22 years and getting bigger than ever, yes, uh, is a is a tremendous thing, and and uh, I, I love being associated with them. And yeah. so when they asked me to to host again, I was I was thrilled at the yeah. opportunity, you know, chance to do that. Absolutely. And you have a co-host this year, so you're not doing everything yourself. The lovely you? Megan Alexander, yes. from Inside Edition, I think. Yes, right. so um, that'll be fun. And uh, so, yeah, so she can, I'm sure she can do most of the heavy lifting. <laughs> But I'm going to get to sing. Uh, I'll sing uh, at two different times in the show, and one of the one of the performances will be a medley of, of uh, some of my hits that I think are the most uh, uh, that fit in best to that format. You know, I had, and I had a lot of songs like that that yeah. had, a, had a message to a social message and, and an inspirational message, and that's kind of what I'm known for. I think more so than, than some of the other stuff, and uh, so it's a, I think it's a good fit for me. I do too. I do too. I think they made a right choice in, in Thank you. bringing you on board to do that. Thank Talk you. about some of the people that are receiving awards this year. Any impact that they've maybe had, or things that you're looking forward to on the show? Well, I'm not. Uh, again, see, it's hard to. It's hard to the uh, as opposed to say the Dove Awards, which is more about the contemporary Christian thing. You know, and you hear that on a lot of these radio stations. It's hard to find radio stations. There's plenty of radio stations that play this stuff, mm -hmm. but they're harder to find. They're, it's not as it's not as widespread, which I think is. Um, uh, but uh, Lisa Daggs is somebody I, I think is is great. Uh, I see a, I see some new. I, she's been around a while, and mm -hmm. I see I see some uh, some new names too that I don't recognize. So yeah. it's kind of a, it's kind of when you get to to do the show or attend it, attend it. You're. Uh, you're really being exposed to some of this music, possibly for the first time. Yeah. You know, unless you just follow it intently, and as as busy as I am, it's hard to do that. But, mm -hmm. um, uh, so I look forward to that as more so than anything else. I'll I have to sit back, and so then when you when when someone does win that award, or then you you know then you root for them, and, yeah. and you have your favorites. And of course, they also um, uh, nominate performances and songs by mainstream acts mm -hmm. that they felt like were inspirational. You know, I, for instance, uh. Uh, I think Song of the Year, one of the Song of the Year nominees is, is um, uh, Humble and Kind, the Tim McGraw song. And I think that's just one of the best songs beautiful. I've heard so ever. Yes. And it's, um, and so thing is, it, you know, it's, a, it's a showcase for music like that, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, and people always hear, they'll hear these songs sporadically all the time and they'll go, well, you know, boy, that sure makes me feel good. I wish, I wish the radio played more stuff like that. Well, they do. You just it's get, but you gotta, you gotta it's find. There. You just have to listen to the right stations to get it. Yeah, and it is. It's intertwined and intermixed with what we're listening to. But sometimes it gets lost because we hear the same songs on the oh, top yeah. ten over and over, and it may or may not be that song. So, yeah. It just, it just in the in, the, in country music, the mainstream country today, it's it's much different than it was when I was had my songs were on the radio. I mean, it's mm -hmm. very party oriented and stuff like that, and and. Uh, kind of one-dimensional in a way. I don't mean that in, in a derogatory way, but that's just what's popular right now. Yeah. And uh, so you rarely hear something like a humble and kind that jumps out there and goes, oh, wow, mm -hmm. a really, that's a really good song it's there. funny you bring that up. Uh, I know off-camera we were talking earlier about my son. That's one of his favorite songs right now. And so you, you oh, never know. He is. He's very, he loved it. In fact, we argued over the no, lyrics when they first came out. He just turned 11. Oh, and we argued over some of the lyrics and we had to Google them because he thought it was one thing and I said, no, oh. I think it's something else. But it's, He's got a good heart. Oh, he has a huge heart. And a heart. good musical yes. ear. Because I mean, if you listen, <laughs> kids, see my granddaughter, Maddie, she's 12 years old now. And yes. Oh, she That's listens great. to lyrics and just <laughs> absorbs them like a sponge like I did when I was a kid. And, mm -hmm. and uh, she, she loves songs that move her. And, mm -hmm. and of course, she still loves the... Oh, of course. <laughs> but she know. But the, the difference is she understands. She understands the difference. Mm -hmm. Yep. Between that. And I think and it's that. important that that awards show like these, you know, they fit all audiences. So it brings awareness to more of that music. 
for the younger generation and for the older generation that may not be out there getting all the stuff sure. that's being fed to us all the time. And, well, it's just like, it's just like uh, and, and in fact, there's an, also a category, I think it's a new category uh, at the ICMAs now where they uh, celebrate the best inspirational movie of the year. And that's becoming, you notice how Hollywood has started making a pretty steady diet of, mm -hmm. of these Christian-oriented mm -hmm. films. And uh, that's something you wouldn't heard of 10 years ago, 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. There was such an, a, a, a pushback against that. But Hollywood does what they know is going to make money. They, they won't put out a, mo a movie that they think no one's going to watch. Right. Or they hold, you know, that's the idea. And so the fact that these movies like, you know, uh, Heaven is for Real and uh, Miracles from Heaven, you know, that they're doing so well to me is a huge statement. That's mm -hmm. a great statement as to where we are. And I think that needs to be celebrated because again, they may be making money, but you won't see them, you won't see them winning awards at the Oscars. Yeah, yeah. Because they're, they're not gonna go for yeah. that, you yeah. know. Yeah. Uh, but, they, but thank God they're making them. Absolutely, right. So talk about your hosting duties a little bit. You know, when people think hosts, they think comedians, <laughs> or they think, you know, sure. like Carrie and Brad and all that. Yeah. What, what's your niche? What's your thing? What, what do people look at you and go, well, I, I get him because oh, he's this well, thank or that? You. Well, I think, I think that my, uh, I, have, I think God gave me two really good gifts in regards to uh, doing my job. And that is he, he gave me a, a howitzer in my throat, the way I sing. <laughs> but he also, uh, he also gave me the ability to make people feel comfortable immediately. Yes. And I love to put people at ease. And, and my life shows me, you know, People always say after, oh yeah, you sounded great and all that, but you know, we just had such a good time. We felt like we knew you as soon as you came out. And I think that's important to people because when you pay money, or, or in this case, going to the, it's free for mm -hmm. the attending people who want to come and attend. But when you pay to see someone on the road or whatever, you're, you're there and they're there and you don't know how that's, you know, and sometimes the two hours can go by and you never feel like you got close to that person. It's right. And that's fine. If that's, it depends on what it is you're going to see. If it's... Uh, you know, if it's Jennifer Lopez or Britney Spears, you're watching the spectacle mm -hmm. or whatever. But when it's a when it's a, sh a show that's more uh, uh, about music and you're trying to translate the music to them and make it make them make them feel personally connected, then you do have. I think it's mandatory. You have to connect with those folks and mm -hmm. let them realize. So I start making fun of myself right away. You know, the lack of hair. Yeah. You know, <laughs> what, whatever it is. You know, you you can always find my age. You can always find things to poke fun at yourself. And the minute you start doing that, you disarm them, and they go, well, "He's all right." And that's who I really am. I'm just a, I'm just a guy that's lucky that after 25 years, I still get asked to do stuff yeah. like this. You know, yeah. and so I th that's the, my approach to when I get a chance to host an event. Is and, and and I think when it comes to comedy stuff I'm better when I'm ad-libbing as opposed to reading the prompter mm -hmm. and so hopefully I'll get a few opportunities to do that and most award shows we're always going to give you some opportunity to ad-lib oh yeah you know there's oh, yeah. going to be something unexpected happen that you can play off yeah. of but I'm really comfortable in that skin I, I like I like uh being the guy that kind of that kind of keeps things rolling yeah get it out there and so is there anyone in particular part of the show that you really are looking forward to? You know, I haven't actually seen the lineup yet, to be honest with you. I'm not sure who's doing what and when. Uh, I, I saw a list of people that are supposed to be there. Right. But I don't know if that's just their attendees or nominees or if they're actually going to perform. Right. You know, a lot of my friends are going to be there that I've known for years. Uh, Marty Raybon and Mike McGuire of Shenandoah, they're going to mm -hmm. be there. I've known those guys forever. Yeah. Um, my buddy Mark Wills, he's gonna, I think he, I think Mark's performing too, if I'm not mistaken. Um, uh, so over there, you always get those little surprises like that. Like the last time I hosted, I remember Richie, Richie McDonald of Lone Star uh, had just put out a, a Christian album, and he did a tune at the piano, just mm -hmm. you know, the piano that was beautiful. I, I, was and I wasn't expecting that, yeah. you know. Yeah. And so I, I, it's, there's always surprises at this show, and it's because uh, it's, it, it, it encompasses a lot of stuff. It's mm -hmm. not just a one-dimensional, you know. It, 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 so it could be any, as long as, in other words, as long as the message is in the music, it doesn't matter what style That's of music right. it is or That's who's right. doing it. And I think that goes back to what you said in the beginning about you always meet so many new people that you maybe have heard or maybe haven't met yet, mm -hmm. and you connect with them immediately because the message is the same no matter the genre of the music, but yet it all kind of blends into this country format because of the yeah. lyrics and because mm -hmm. of the message and everything. 
So yeah. uh, th that's what I love about sure. it. You know, it's it's always been that for me that. Because ultimately, when you say when you use the term country music, whether you're talking about secular country music or inspirational country music, it, it doesn't. You know, I think. I think Alan Jackson was wrong in a couple of his comment, you know, songs he would make about if you don't have a fiddle and a steel in any country. I don't think that's necessarily true. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it, it certainly lends itself to make you think, oh, that's a country song. Right. Right. But but melody, chord progression, you can put more than three chords in a country song. It's okay to do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you can sing, a, you can be a tenor like me. You don't have to sound like Lefty Frizzell. And so you know. much of it has merged and blended that our genres don't have definitive lines anymore yeah. like they used to. It used to be the Hank Williams sound was a country yeah, sound. Yeah, it's the best. And, you know, and that's the, the best sound. Yeah, but so, it doesn't mean it's the only. And and again, not everybody's Hank Williams. Yeah. That's what I always. That's See, that's, that's how that's I counter at what Alan says. Is like it's like well, just because someone's trying to sound like that doesn't mean you're Hank Williams. That's, and so right. uh, yeah. I think I think an artist has to find what they're good at and allow that to come out. Otherwise, it's not going to take. It's not going to connect. Now, I do, I do agree with uh, that thinking uh, when it comes to you know the modern mainstream country music. I think it, I don't mind the the fact that the drums are louder. I don't mind the fact that there's more rock and roll sounding tracks. That's fine. And obviously, the lyrics are about trucks and fields and drinking beers. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. But the rap in it. <laughs> when he when he goes to when it when it when they when the guy does a verse yeah, and then instead of a guitar solo or a fiddle yeah. solo or something he decides to rap instead. Yes. Yeah, that bugs uh, me. But I, I don't. But that's hey, to each his own. Yeah, as long as it's at a minimum, I can handle. I don't know yeah. a lot of it. Country hillbillies aren't supposed to rap. I agree. I'm right with you on that one. Well, I know that the show is free. I know that people can watch it on TV at an air date to be announced soon. Yeah. We don't we don't have the air date yet. But they can go to the website, correct? Right. And get the uh, inspirationalcountrymusic.com. Inspirationalcountrymusic.com. It's a great website, and it, it'll have it, they update it all the time. So when the uh, when the the networks are locked in stone, which mm -hmm. they will be, mm -hmm. and very soon, I would think. Yes. Uh, and the air times will be on there. And, and I remember when I've seen it in the past, it airs more than once. So yeah. you, get, you get several several mm -hmm. swings at it, you yeah. know, if you missed yeah. it the first time. Yeah. Anything anymore is always that way. Plus, we have, usually have it on social media or YouTube or somewhere else. Oh, yeah. So I'm sure there'll be plenty of opportunities to see it. So. And what will ever happen if the computers go down? Oh, I know. Our computers are <laughs> We'd become so connected to that. We, we would have to talk to each other again. Yeah, I know. I have to actually interact. <laughs> you mean actually talk on my phone? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the truth? I know. Well, Colin, I know I'm looking forward to seeing you on the show. I know everybody's looking forward to you performing. I know my mom is because we already talked That's about right. that. And, uh, you know, I, I tell her you're going to sing the song that she plays. We'll be singing She'll Love Me. Texture. I'm going to do a medley of uh, uh, Little Rock, I Think About You, and Love Me. Those are three. We can only squeeze in three yeah. pieces of three. And, and I thought those are very recognizable and they're also very spiritual. In, yeah. and inspirational in their nature, you know, so yeah. I thought that was a good fit. I was actually excited they asked me to do some old songs too, mm -hmm. instead of, you know, and I'm doing a newer song as well. Yeah. Uh, but, because uh, yeah, there's always, invariably, there's those people who go, Colin Ray, Colin Ray, yeah, I know. But, and then you go into, well, I, I think I'm on a roll, oh, I know who he is. <laughs> and so you get that, you know, it, it kind of brings it back home, you know. Sure, sure. Well, but I know I, we're here to talk about the show, but what, do you have new music coming? Uh, well, I, we're actually the, the newest album. I, I do make an album about every year and a half, and the most recent one we are finishing up. It's we're mixing it right now, and it's probably we're, we're looking at probably a January release. It's a recut of all my hits. Oh, twenty five wow. years in the business, twenty five hits. I'm gonna call it the Big Twenty Five, and um, it was hard. It was harder because you know I sing really intense and really high and. And boy, with my producers back back in the day, they were always like, well, well let's push it high. I said, well, Vince would sing in this key. He said, you're going to sing it higher than Vince would. So, so I was like, okay. And, <laughs> and so it worked at the time. Uh, but then you get older, it's harder, but I can still do it. And so mm -hmm. so this year was kind of a proof to myself I can still do it all, you know. And the, the, I think the versions are better. And then we also put three bonus tracks on there as well. So there would actually be 28 songs on it. Uh, but so that's that's been a, a labor of love, but definitely Absolutely. a lot of hard work to yeah. make happen. But that's so that's that's the the. Uh, but actually, one of the bonus tracks that um, I'm doing 
on that album is, is the song called Undefeated, which I will also be doing on the ICMAs this week. Ah, so people get a sneak peek of yeah, that. Yeah, Hey, awesome. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Well, thanks for stopping by and Thank chatting with us. And make sure you check out the website and check out Colin's music. Yeah, and anything you need to know, details on the show, uh, inspirationalcountrymusic.com. And if anyone who lives in the area, in the Nashville area, or is planning on making a trip in, please come out to the show. There, It's at... Uh, Trinity Broadcasting, no, excuse me, Trinity Inter, what's it called? <laughs> Trinity Broadcast Network. Tr Trinity, Trinity Broadcast Network. I want to make sure I got it right. I've been there many times. The <laughs> Trinity Broadcast Network's in Hendersonville, just north Nashville. Yes, it's a beautiful venue. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful venue. venue. And uh, it's very comfortable and it's free to get in. Yep. They just want you in there. So, so please come out and watch the show with us. Awesome. Well, thanks, Colin. Thank you so much.